You know what I want to encourage? Good morning, good afternoon, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host. I want to encourage uh, all of y'all, all of us, to hum more, to uh, get in tune with the vibrations of our bodies and our hearts. And the only way you can do that, you should start your day off. Um, you should hum a little bit. Any tune, it don't have to be in tune. It could just be a tune. Start your day off with some humming. Like some... Mm Just let that take you wherever it takes you. All right, you guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host. Khadija. First thing I want to say is uh, rest in peace to my man AJ Johnson. Oh God, such a baby. Um, for those of y'all who know or uh, don't know, uh, Friday star Anthony Johnson. Uh, wow, he's dead at fifty-five. Uh, best known for his roles in House Party and Friday. Jonathan's nephew tell us that he was found lifeless in a store earlier this month in Los Angeles and rushed to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. So obviously a lot of um, uh, uh, people probably didn't know because it probably would have been announced a little earlier if he was found earlier this month. So far, no cause of death has been released. Uh, the actor and comedian's career took off in 1990 after he landed the role of Ezel in House Party and going on to do stand-up all over L.A. After that, he appeared in films like Lethal Weapon 3, Minister Society, um, before he had that breakout role as Ezel in the, in the 1995 comedy Friday. You know, AJ will go on to appear in nearly 50 films and TV shows, including Moesha, Martin, Malcolm and Eddie, Players Club, and I Got the Hookup, and the sequel. It's also rumored that Johnson was cast to reprise his role in the upcoming Last Friday. Damn, rest in peace. He was 55 years old. Man, that is really, 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 really sad. It's really sad. You know, um, and I want to say rest in peace. If anybody out there know what happened to him, um, I mean, because he's such a young man. Wow, I mean, wow. I felt the same way when I, um, same thing with uh, uh, Michael K. Williams. That was very sad. It's like, y'all, we leaving here. And unfortunately, um, again, you know, with the drugs, you know, it's just, to find these people, uh, dead young people, and to find um, the drugs laced with fentanyl, you know, that shit hurts. I mean, because nowadays people don't care no more. It used to be a little respect on the streets. Ain't none no more. It used to be that you didn't sell a pregnant woman um, dope. You know, and, you know, it, it was just some. Some kind of respect out here. Now they cut your shit up, give it to anybody, or people want to stretch their money, and they'll do anything. So, I mean, that's always the game when you indulge in that. It's always a chance something like that can happen. So I, I just felt bad about Michael K. Williams as well, and that was 
you know, it's all that sad. It's just sad. We losing so many, so many, and I'm just a little overwhelmed, you know. Uh, I'm just a little overwhelmed um, because I am still so, so uh, open and raw about my brother's death. Uh, and so, you know, you know, even that uh, NFL quarterback, Colt Brennan, he would, his, his uh, death was caused by accidental OVD. And phenomenophane, methamphetamine, and it was also laced with that damn fentanyl. I mean, it's like, really? Really? A lot of us knew that. Um, it's, just, it's just, like I said, it's just been a, a trying year, and I, I'm really, really sorry for AJ. Just really did not. That was some news I didn't want to hear. I mean, he's such a young man. So again, if anybody know what happened to him, I sure would like to know. I really would. In the meantime, in the meantime. In between time, as they say. Um, you know, like I said, you got to enjoy each and every day because you never know. So for all our fallen, you know, rest in peace and my condolences to y'all family, y'all friends, loved ones. You know, may you rest in peace. I'll see y'all in the next video.